Welcome back to the channel, folks. Hope you're having a fantastic, amazing, spectacular day. <clears throat> Coach Johnson here, IYC Coaching. We are on our mission, our quest, our journey to have you become happier, healthier, and harder to kill. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get into this. So today, I'm going to talk about the difference between a self-defense system and martial arts. While there is a significant amount of overlap, they are not the same thing. And I was actually having this conversation actually a couple times this week with uh, some of my students um, and the differences are, are pretty stark and, and <clears throat> let's get it. So a martial art has, generally speaking, and this is a, a generalization, certainly not true for all martial arts, has a strong um, base in des the desire to teach their, their members, their students, to protect themselves against uh, violent assault. That's kind of a, 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 an assumed predication. Um, Self-defense system, basically that's all that we do. That's our only driving mission. <clears throat> I mean, there's other benefits, but the main mission is like, have your members become better at protecting themselves against a violent assault, both in prevention and, and uh, stopping. So one of the things about martial arts is that there's often a, a cultural aspect to it that is adopted from <coughs> the homeland of wherever that <clears throat> martial art may have come from, whether it's Korean or Chinese or Japanese, Okinawan, you know, Filipino, um, <clears throat> Where, wherever it comes from, I, I guess even even you know uh, American or you know the the Western world has its own version, and the the cultural aspect becomes kind of an important part of that system. So maybe they, the uh, the the commands are given in that language, maybe uh, or maybe the the uniform <clears throat> is indicative of the that that culture's traditional garb. Um, uh, maybe there's. Um, titles that are that are issued that are unique to that the culture from which it springs <clears throat> none of that's bad or good it's just it just makes a martial art a little bit different than self-defense uh, a self-defense system um, a self-defense system it may also have titles and, and maybe there's there's a, a uniform or a training um, garb that is kind of unique to that system but generally it's not because of a, of a cultural influence it's like because it makes sense maybe uh, you're wearing uh, shorts and a t-shirt because maybe that's what you wear most of like here in San Diego <clears throat> we wear shorts t-shirts sandals it's almost like our San Diego uniform however if you're somewhere in the Northeast of the Rocky Mountains it, that would be a very short-lived time you would wear jackets and pants or jeans or you know maybe uh, you know snow suits depending how far up you get <clears throat> so self-defense systems would would take that into consideration then it would probably have a couple of different kinds of, of training. Maybe you train outside sometimes. Maybe you train in uh, your casual uh, or dress attire sometimes. But the goal of the self-defense system is very clear. It's designed solely to provide its members with the ability to prevent and or survive an armed or, or armed or unarmed a violent assault. <clears throat> That's what it does. Now, a self-defense system will often have things that are designed to teach de-escalation, prevention, you know, like, like how, do you, how do you go into a parking lot? How do you check your car before you get into it? Uh, how do you look for signs of, of, of a possible uh, violent interaction? Those are important things to learn in the self-defense system because honestly, if you can prevent self-defense situations, it's a lot easier to solve self-defense situations. And self-defense is a problem-solving mechanism. Somebody has grabbed me, I have to do something. Somebody has threatened me, I have to do something. Somebody is choking me, I have to do something. Somebody puts a gun in my face, I have to do something. <clears throat> so that's self-defense. And again, a martial art may very well have techniques and strategies <clears throat> to handle those problems, but it will also have a cultural element with it as well. And it may be tr certain traditions. Um, and now, traditions are not unique to martial arts. A, a tradition might be like, after, like for us, when we do a, a rank promotion or you know, um, you know, we, we level up, we often will ha get, have the students get together, we'll do a potluck, or maybe we'll go out to dinner. That's a tradition. It's a culture of, of our school. Um, it's not necessarily a culture of America or a culture of, of like Israel or <clears throat> wherever else, but that's, that's a tradition that we have. Uh, we find it value in it. Another thing that self-defense system does that's often different than martial arts is self-defense self systems are not afraid of evolving <clears throat> and changing. Threats will change from time to time. The methods with which people attack will change from time to time. The um, weapons that they use, you know, will change from time to time. So it's important that we adapt. So major difference is 
self-defense systems adapt, evolve, modify, whereas martial arts are a little slower than that, and they have a cultural element. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's a big difference. They're both great. They both have different benefits. So it's important that I don't want to come across as disparaging one or the other because I've done both. So this is Coach Johnson from IYC Coaching, hoping to make you happier, healthier, and harder to kill. Have a fantastic day. If you find this useful, subscribe to the channel. Maybe give me a like. Talk to you soon.